just arrived at Universal for Halloween Horror Nights. I am excited. We parked in the E.T. lot. Number four. Oops. Gotta remember that. But I'm excited. It's gonna be a good night. I'm eating the normal sprinkle cake from Voodoo Donuts and it's absolutely amazing. It's not sweet. It's actually like cake. It's really good. And in typical Florida fashion, it is now raining. But I am finally at Universal Studios. I have been waiting for this day for so long. I am so, so, so excited. Oh my God. Oh my God. Get to, get to see the Ghostbusters stuff. There's Islands of Adventure out there. I shall look at a plane. There's a chocolate factory out there. Oh, just so happy. Okay, gotta go in. Gotta go in. Three o'clock early entrance for stain. Uh, no, that's not stain. Is it stain scream? I don't know what it's called actually. Scream early, whatever. I don't know. All I know is I'm going in early. Three o'clock. Try to get out of this rain. I am just ah, oh, so excited. I'm finally in. I'm finally in. Oh my god, I'm finally in. There's a Today Cafe. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm getting excited. Like a Slimer and a Terror Dog. Oh. I gotta take a picture. Walking down Hollywood Boulevard. Look, they even got the stars. <laughs> like uh, on the board, on the, on the, you know what I'm trying to say. Horror makeup show. Absolutely good show. This is perfection. Studio styles. Hmm. Little kids having fun, it's so great. A life-size Slimer $1,625. Oh, I want it so bad. Wow. It's Vigo! Signed by Sigourney Weaver as well. $950. All the Back to the Future stuff. Nice Back to the Future hats. Shirt. I'm looking for another store. There's one that has all the props in it and a bunch of other merchandise. And that's what I'm looking for now. Good for... Stranger Things autographs. This? This is from the movie The Fly. When the guy transformed into the... The Fly? <laughs> Welcome to the Horror Makeup Show. we got a great show for you today. My good friend Mark Davis is talking to Hollywood. He's a creature creator and makeup effects artist, does a lot of great work for us out of Universal Hollywood. And he's here with us all day today. Are you ready for Blood and Guns? Yeah. All right, put your hands together. Have a welcome, Mr. Mark James.
loves dying. <laughs> If you're cool with that, I guess. <laughs> okay, okay. okay. Good night. <laughs> Here I go. <laughs> you're not helping. <laughs> Goodbye forever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh, I hope not. <laughs> Are you dead? I'm dead, but I don't know. You are smooth with the lid. My job basically goes out, freak out, and you know, scare the crap out of you. <laughs> you may not know this, but you're the first one. Okay. Where am I? Yeah, yeah. Where do all these people come from? Uh, you've been on the Zoom versus Tudors. Actually, invented the genre of horror. With that is true. And with that in mind, let's take a look at some of the scariest, <laughs> most universal, and legacy of horror. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I want to warn you, but you want to see the Nopper Fan of Heart. It's usually yeah. the Alzheimer's Queen, which is full of your eyes. Yeah, well, let your kids watch. <laughs> Yeah, just don't put all up here. You don't need to look at them. Come on. 
Why would you do that to Kim? Hey. She's from St. Louis. She'll cut you. Wow. <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah. All right. That's unprofessional. I apologize. <laughs> Well, I can show you. Here you go. Thank you, Charlie. It's part of the thing. No. It's fine. No. Can we get a little? Kim! Oh, yeah. We're not going to use that big rusty knife. It's a smaller or sharper knife. You're welcome. Yeah, we sell shirts here, too. All right, Kim, I'm going to take this knife. I'm going to cut your arm like so. Okay? Okay. Good girl. And then when I cut you, I need you to scream. Huh? Like in a horror movie. All right, so let's practice. I'll cut the three, you scream as loud as you can. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, that's not bad. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, that's good. 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 Listen up, guys. This is important. Do not drink beer for breakfast. <laughs> Just because mommy does it doesn't mean it's okay. Right? She only does that because she's stuck home alone with you all day. Until uh, the UPS guy shows up, and it's fucking brown new for you. No sense. <laughs> <laughs> and also, in the late season day, have been dull, of course. Either that or they're made of uh, some plastic. These. We uh, whenever you use. <laughs> Please, <laughs> sharp blades to do special effects. Also, the people who set up the effects when they're not drinking are very professional with a lot of training. So don't try this at home. Try it at a friend's house. Ready? Yeah. Uh, Kim, you ready? Set a close up Kim's arm, please. Right. Showtime. All right, Kim, here we go. Three, come on over. Big screen. Nice. One, no, you're fine. Okay, okay, Kim. One, two, three, scream. <laughs> Alright, 
All right, so Universal Studios, they've got a lot of uh, history behind this kind of stuff. Right? Pioneers, yeah, yeah. yeah, take a look real quick. <laughs> they got Pioneer Lon Chaney, started it all, known as the man of a thousand faces. Lon Chaney was a great actor and created all his own makeup for hundreds of Universal silent films. A brilliant actor who truly suffered for his art. For example, you'll see here, actually injected bleach into his own eye. Okay, I made that up. But he did wear a harness and a hump that contorted his body. He did not stand upright during the filming of Hunchback. Now, we can only guess how Chaney achieved most of these effects. Very secretive about his techniques. Never told anyone his family, his co workers, not even his son, Dick. Dick Cheney. Dick Cheney, right? <laughs> wow, nothing. Okay. Cheney uh, uh, did make the way from the legendary Jack Pierce. There's Jack. Jack is the genius behind Hollywood's greatest monsters. Like. Wolfman, The Mummy, Bride of Frankenstein, Kim Kardashian, and Kanye. <laughs> day and night doing exhaustive research in morgues, hospitals, experimenting on uh, cadavers. There's Rudy Giuliani looking for insanity. And of course, of course, Carl as Frankenstein's monster. Regular materials, plaster, rubber, morticians, wax. Actually made that flat head out of an old hat box. And Jack Carlos again is the original mummy. Now it took eight hours to lay around the makeup, bandages, and mud to Carlos' body. Eight hours, about ten minutes of screen time. And yes, Universal did have a share of crap. It's all good. Mongo going horribly wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's me, Pikachu. And then 1968, a guy named John Chambers really changed everything. First guy to use foam latex on the original Planet of the Apes with Charles. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, well, let me show you. For example, this is 
latex. <laughs> See that guys? This is Playtex. <laughs> <laughs> Production, of course, makeup team will first design a series of conceptual drawings, in some cases painting directly over existing photos of the actor. In this case, the lovely Sophia Butella plays the mummy. <laughs> and from those drawings, sculpts are made. Those use those reference to build latex appliance pieces. You see here being glued to Miss Butella's face. As well as tiny runic symbols, very painstaking process can take up to four hours before filming even starts. And that's just from the neck up. They also design silicone pieces embedded with ink infused glue to produce the thousands of rooms necessary to cover her entire body. It looks so good, everybody fell down. You <laughs> see, <laughs> it takes a whole team of artists working daily to get the makeup just right. It has to be consistent, right? Very important. But we can take months. This was done with this process dozens of times just to remain consistent throughout. Hope that her work shows up on screen. Wee, catch me. <laughs> right, so, and he gives her remix. Of course, those artists were inspired by the artists who came before. We talked about Jack Pierce and the original mummy. He inspired a guy named Dick Smith. Dick Smith inspired Rick Baker. So it's a real legacy. Rick Baker. You know, Rick Baker. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's he's got a lot. Uh, seven Oscars. Yeah, if you don't know his name, Men in Black, Buddy Professor. Rich and Wood. Uh, Rich and this one. His first Oscar winner, kids. What movie is this? Anybody? Yes, E.T., that's correct, E.T. <laughs> he's back and he's pissed. Uh, it's a mix of American Werewolf in London, very nice. 1981, Rick Circle, so innovative, actually won the very first Oscar ever awarded for Lincoln. Wow. Look at that. What, 30, almost 40 so, years old? Yeah, right? like that, yeah. Yeah, okay, so his holds up the, the makeup effect. Yeah. It's practical makeup. It's old school practical makeup. Right? Like that, so yeah, yeah exactly. so how do you do that with, how do you make his head work? Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, it's right. See, the 80s, they weren't really using computers yet. So, first part's an actor makeup. The rest of the scene, Rick designed mechanical heads that change shape. All right, now it's a fiberglass understructure. You see here, this is based on the actor's face. We cover this with a series of latex wolf masks, and then, Nothing happens, and then... There we go. Sorry about that. Yeah, I hope you can see that. I run on a pneumatic system. It's air pressure. Uh, air pressure, yeah. exactly. Push it down the jaw, push it down, whatever. That stretches the latex, so it looks like it's growing, transformed. Right? Uh, there are seven heads, very detailed. Of course, dental work. Real hair on there. Where did you get the hair from? Uh, Israel. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Children from Israel. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yeah. Practical makeup. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Today you'll probably combine it with digital effects. Okay. Uh, CGI. Yeah. Uh, we'll work with it. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, because we saw earlier how we use practical makeup in the remake of the movie, right? Most films nowadays use a combination of techniques, digital as well as practical. We'll start with these guys. That's called an animatic. It's just a placeholder. Just give the filmmakers an idea of what the final creature is going to look like, how it's going to move. So in the movie, they would film Sophia Patella in a motion capture suit. See it there. All those squares, circles, triangles, those tracker movements, and then a digital artist can take that footage or can change it any way they want. And again, we're combining effects. So whenever you do that, both the digital team and the makeup team, I just want to refer back to the original concept. What about consistency? Just make sure everybody's on the same page. So when you put all these different pieces together, the final effect is flawless. And digital effects are a great tool. When combined with practical makeup, great performances, and a classic story, nightmares really do come true. Mark James, everybody. Mark, thank you. 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 You want to see this, right? Yeah. Let's go. I will need your help. Okay. Put on this high voltage vest. No. It's low voltage vest. That's fine. Take off your jacket mm -hmm. and your pants. Mm -hmm. Come here. Ah, I'm going to do it. What are you doing? Come on, baby. Yeah! Watch out for Jim, everybody! Oh, 
Hey, guys. Coming back on stage, we're going to give you and your family a free three-day cruise. <laughs> Brochure. <laughs> to St. Louis. Yeah. There's a glove here, Alex. Oh, okay. And like I said, it's a work in progress, so bear with me. Kim, you like movies? Sure. Okay. Did you, uh, did you see a movie called The Green Mile? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'll tell you how this ends. Alright. It's actually a creature controller. Kim's going to bring my mouse to the life of this medium, ladies and gentlemen. Allow me to introduce you to my latest creation for the first time anywhere, the one and only Eddie. It is, yeah. Well, film the uh, tell now the, the live action Dora the Explorer. Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's called Adios Diego. <laughs> Adios Boots. Adios Baby Jaguar. Everybody dies. <laughs> so the situation is covered in sensors. Your movements will be relayed electronically to A. So if you move, he moves. Make sense? <coughs> now it's all still. Let me turn the power on. So that day you will feel just a slight. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you won't even remember that part. <laughs> and then when you wake up, your pants will be wet. So, that's okay. <laughs> Selfie, <laughs> duck face. <laughs> that's for the insurance company. <laughs> Why are you duck face? We have half luck. <laughs> <laughs> All you, babe. All you. <laughs> Hold still. I'm gonna fire him up to get the best. Um, what's 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 that? Oh, it's fine. It's just the. Uh, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kim. You ready? Okay. Slowly raise your arm. Uh, see that? That's you. That's how you control the creature. I like big butts. <laughs> you like big butts, Kim? Not really. No? No. no. You're missing out. Hi, kids. Hi, kids. Hi, Tom. Hi, Eddie. I live under your bed. No! <laughs> Just kidding. Head on your tummy. Perfect. Did a good job. Take a bow. Nice. Stand up. Arm down. Perfect. Pest off. And power down. That's it. Eddie, everybody. Thank you. 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 Thanks anyway. <laughs> 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 